It's 11 a.m. I'm Ian Sheridan and here are the headlines. The beginning of winter means us all wrapping up warm in our winter coats. But with the number of homeless people rising, this could lead to further issues for the charity shelter to address. We're extremely concerned about what is um, happening and we think about to happen this winter. And we've got a situation where we, we've got high and and rising rents uh, combined with a very, very tight squeeze in the benefit system. And uh, we, we, we think that's pushing thousands of families to the brink of homelessness. Volunteers are urgently needed to give a helping hand to vulnerable people isolated in their homes due to a lack of transport. The long-running initiative Good Neighbours, based across Hampshire, requires volunteers to help by driving people to the hospital, dentist, running errands or by being a friendly face. Winnell got the views of Graham Wyeth. Some clearly are also supported by broader families who are local, but sadly some of them don't have um, family either in or adjacent to the area. Sky News has led an investigation which has found that plastic companies have denied claims that they have tried to silence critics of combustible building insulation. The investigation began five months after the horrific incident at Grenfell Tower, and Sky News has found that this has happened several times. A record number of international students were accepted onto UK degree courses last year. Official numbers show that the amount of students accepted went up by 5%, and the number of applying passed 73,000. With Christmas less than a month away, the sales have been driving shoppers in. Black Friday caused a frenzy, but Cyber Monday is due to see 21.5 million people hitting the web in search of bargains. Experts predict that the Cyber Monday is now Britain's biggest shopping day of the year, with almost £8 billion due to be spent. And finally, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are now officially engaged. Clarence House have confirmed that the wedding is expected in spring 2018. They have been dating for one year so far. Thanks for listening. More news in an hour.